Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a core 2021 bundle for a patron. So the patron today is Mark McGrain. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So he's going to get this box and everything in it, a whole bunch of goodies there. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm hoping there's some really juicy stuff in here. Uh, the uh, Core 2021 seems to be a bit of a swing and a miss sometimes, so let's see how we do. So we've got the nice box there. Won't spend any time looking at the lands here. So we've got a promo that he'll also get. That's the Pack Leader Foil. So we had a look at that in a previous video. I'll pop a link in the corner. You can check it out. Okay, so we should have 10 packs of goodness here. Let's get into it and see if I can get the pack open. That's always a challenge. I think I haven't opened any packs in a while. I think it's been uh, maybe less than 24 hours, so I'm a bit out of practice. Okay, MTG Arena, Bloodfill Caves. And the rare is Temple of Malady. It's land and spadefield tapped. And when it enters the battlefield, scry one, tap it for black or green. All right. And let's boost that lighting. It's looking a little dim there. Much better. And next up, we have Sanctum of Shattered Heights for the Uncommons Havoc Jester. Reign of Revelation and the Commons Hunter's Edge. Let's rearrange things here. Dub. Mistral Singer, Shock, Fetid Imp, Satessan Training, Spined Megalodon, Giant Shark there, Rambunctious Mutt, Burn Bright, Keen Glidemaster, and that is it for the first pack. On to the next. Maybe we'll get a Liliana or Teferi. So how many of the Teferi variants have you pulled? Have you been lucky enough to get more than one? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, next up we've got a cat token, a swamp, a foil portcullis vine, and the rare is Thieves Guild Enforcer, which I keep seeing this card, I think it's uh, one of the more common rares. Creature Human Rogue 1-1 one, one for a single black has flash whenever it or another rogue and spared food under your control, each opponent mills two cards. And as long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, Thieves Guild Enforcer gets plus two plus one and has death touch. All right, and a Jeskai Elder for the Uncommons Indulging Patrician, Dire Fleet Warmonger, and the Commons Grasp of Darkness, Silent Dart, Hunter's Edge, Ornery Dilophosaur, Sanguine Indulgence, Burn Bright, Frantic Inventory, Feet of Resistance, and Goblin Wizardry, yes! We do love the Goblins indeed. Okay, on to the next. Okay, so we have an angel token, very cool. Pop that over there. Swiftwater Cliffs, and the rare is Sublime Epiphany. It's an instant for six, so you've got a nice menu of options here. Choose one or more. Counter target spell, counter target activator or trigger ability, return target non land permanent to its owner's hand, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, or target player draws a card. Okay, and uncommons we have Rin Wingmare, Angelic Ascension. Riddle form and the commons truffle snout rookie mistake finishing blow short sword caged zombie village rights track down staunch shield mate bone pit brute and tome anima and you might have noticed we do look at the common cards on this channel absolutely love the artwork so can't get enough on to the next one. Okay, so we've got a knight token. We've got an island and the rare, not bad at all. Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Let's try creature vampire cleric 1 3 for 3. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life and for 3 and 2 black creatures you control gain life length until end of turn. Okay, an uncommon's kite sail freebooter, hell kite punisher, silver's moat ghoul. And we've got the Cage Zombie back again, Sky Scanner, Rousing Reed, Duress, Life Goes On, Garrick's Gorehorn, 
Walking Corpse, Spined Megalodon, Concordia Pegasus, and Bone Pit Brute. So what are people thinking of Core 2021 now that it's been out a few weeks? You're getting bored with it already? Uh, up for Double Masters, or actually what was in between uh, the uh, Jump Start stuff? So if you missed all the Jump Start videos on the channel, I'll pop a link in the corner, you can check them out. Lots of good stuff there. Okay, we've got a Griffin. A Scoured Barons, and you got a bit of a peak. Oh, nice! Foil Borderless Cultivate. Sorcery for three. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reel those cards and put one onto the battlefield tapped and the other into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Love it. Okay, very nice pull there. And the second rare here, Nine Lives Enchantment for three, has Hexproof. So a, if a source would deal damage to you, prevent that damage and put an Incarnation Counter on Nine Lives. And when there are nine or more incarnation counters on nine lives, exile it. And when nine lives leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. I like the flavor on that one. That's fun. Okay, cultivate just the regular artwork. Faith's Fetters, Law Scale Coatle, and the commons Infernal Scarring, Sabertooth Mauler, Anointed Chorister, Crypt Lurker, Titanic Growth, Concordia Pegasus, Crash Through, Frantic Inventory and Makeshift Battalion and I'm about to have an avalanche here as usual. Okay, so we are halfway through. Still no Mythics. So I'm pretty sure at this point uh, there was a Ravnica Allegiance bundle. I know the regulars are probably sick of me talking about it. But if you have not seen this thing, it was incredible. Five Mythics in one box. Totally ridiculous. I'll pop a link in the corner to that one. Absolute craziness. Okay, next we have a soldier, one of these very cool lands, and animal sanctuary. It's land tap for colors mana, pay two tap, put a plus one plus one counter on target bird, cat, dog, goat, ox, or snake. Okay, the uncommons we have Palladium Mirror, Skyway Sniper, Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, and commons Infernal Scarring, Mistral Singer. Anointed Chorister, Skeleton Archer, Pride Malkin, Crypt Lurker, Medallion Arcanist, Alpine Watchdog, Crash Through, and Keen Glidemaster. Down to four packs now. I don't know, Mark. Uh, things aren't looking good, although I don't, I don't want to be greedy, but we did get that Cultivate. That was pretty cool, but... Let's see some more good stuff here. We got a MTG Arena Jungle Hollow and a Foil Bone Pit Brute Creature Cyclops. Okay, and the rare. What the heck? Okay, you get a duplicate to Temple of Malady. It's a land and spadeful tapped. Blah blah blah. So we saw that already. So let's. Keep track of the duplicates. So we've got two so far. I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those boxes, you know. Alright, Unsubstantiate for the Uncommons. Leafkin Avenger, Volcanic Geyser, and Commons. Spell Gorge are weird. Wishcoin Crab, Life Goes On, Gale Swooper, Sky Scanner, Walking Corpse, Ranger's Gale, Sure Strike, and Library Larcenist. Okay, so what would be funny, well, not too funny, but if we got another Temple of Malady, that would have to be some sort of strange record. Okay, we got a Soldier, a Forest, and the Rare. Okay, something different. Very good. Glorious Anthem, Enchantment for three. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So at this stage, I'm just happy that it was not another Temple of Malady. And Uncommon's Meteorite, Sanctum of Calm Waters, Twin Blade Assassins, and the Commons Rookie Mistake, Finishing Blow, Short Sword, Cage Zombie, Spell Gorge Weird, Liliana's Steward, hope we can find Liliana herself here, Colossal Dreadmore, Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs, Celestial Enforcer, and Turn to Slag. Two packs here, Mark, it's looking pretty grim. What would make it grimmer is if we get another Temple of Malady or a complete playset. Leave a note in the comments if you have ever been that badly hosed from a bundle. 
Okay, we get a zombie, a scoured barons, and oh, this one, I like the artwork on this. Peer into the abyss. Get a load of that. Sorcery for seven. Target player draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and loses half their life. Rand up each time. You could probably uh, use that together with Jace and try to mill yourself out, although that could be a little dangerous. And Uncommon's Obsessive Stitcher, Angelic Ascension, Soul Seer, and the Commons Mistral Singer, Anointed Chorister, Skeleton Archer, Return to Nature, Garrick Scorehorn, Walking Corpse, Rambunctious Mutt, Burn Bright, Frantic Inventory, and Feet of Resistance. Alright, final pack, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, we've got a cat and a mountain, and yes, yes, we're going to slow roll things here. Let's have a peek. So we do get a foil and a rare. Okay, uncommons, we have Canopy Stalker. So move that aside. Unleash Fury, Silver's Moat Ghoul, and the Commons Wall of Runes, Hunter's Edge, Teferi's Protege, Gloom Sower, Garrick Scorehorn with the empty text box there that's always disturbing to me, Lofty Denial, Feet of Resistance, Goblin Wizardry, and finally Spined Megalodon. Okay, so we better have some very nice stuff here. We got a Fort, really? A foil, basic land, I'm sorry Mark, this box, okay, and big finish, <laughs> okay, pursued whale, yes, creature whale, I mean the artwork's cool, but uh, 8847, when he enters both field, each opponent creates a 1-1 red pirate creature token with, this creature can't block, and creatures you control attack each combat if able, Spells your opponent's cast at target pursued rail costs three more to cast. Okay, so there we have it. I know I should not be too ungrateful because this is fantastic. Check it out. All right, so there we have it. Thank you for being a patron once again, Mark. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.